Okay, the plan today is to do some water sports, some water activities. We're, uh, we're gonna do some kayaking, some of that kind of stuff. Swimming. Some swimming. Water trampoline. Water trampoline. But first we've gotta go get some water shoes. We spent a few minutes in the water down here at the little private beach and it is a rocky, dangerously sharp surface to walk on. So I quickly realized that we were gonna need some water shoes. So that's what we're doing this morning. Other quick recaps. Last night sucked. Hannah did not sleep very well at all. So Brandy and I are like, we're, we're struggle bussing it this morning. Not had enough coffee for sure. Um, so anyways, hopefully the rest of the day goes better. We're gonna have a good time. Play with these kayaks. Go explore the waters here. Scuba diving. Scoop, we're not, we're not going scoop. Oh yeah, snorkeling. oh yeah, maybe we'll do some snorkeling too because we got some stuff for that. So um, a lot of good, fun, exciting stuff. Wish us the best. Hopefully things get a little smoother for us. We're gonna gamble and take our chance at going to a CVS that's on Big Pine Key, which is only about 10, 10 miles, 15 minutes from Sugarloaf Key from the KOA where we're staying. Hopefully it's not a bust and we have to turn around and go then 35 minutes or so back to Key West. I think West. that we just won't be getting water shoes today if that's the case. I think so. Yeah. All right, the journey continues. I was able to get a pair. So was Kendall I. got a pair and there is a Walgreens on the other side of the parking lot. So Hannah, Brandy. Hannah didn't get a pair. So Brandy and Cameron. Cameron are walking over to Walgreens, so we're just gonna meet them right next door. And uh, hopefully they have some luck over there. But Daddy, and then we can get you know how it's called Walgreens? Yeah. There's a green car right there. Oh, a green car in the Walgreens parking lot? How funny is that? <laughs> All right, here they come. Think they got anything? I see them carrying a bag. It's a good sign. I think they got it. How'd we do? Found some. Found some. Yeah? Let me see what Kimber you get. And I got matching super fashion. Oh dang. Those look like some Puma racing shoes. Sick. Mm -hmm. Cool, so go blow up some kayaks. Okay. Is that all we need to do? Yeah, but I'm hungry. Alright. If you guys are curious about where we're storing these kayaks, so back here in the bunkhouse room where the girls sleep, I've got them up stored up here on the top bunk. So Kendall has been sleeping down here on the couch the last few nights as we've traveled. And then we'll pull these out now, we'll get them blown up and they'll just hang out underneath the camper till we leave and she'll be sleeping back up there. Kendall said she's fine with sleeping here the whole time. Really? Mm -hmm. Well that makes it really awesome because then we have more storage. Yeah. I want to grab this cooler that fits in the kayak and go ahead and get ice in it so it doesn't melt in the back of my truck. Kind of slobbered on my nose. We'll get these things blown up and we'll go paddling. Look at this. You guys, how cool are these boats? Yeah. Are they like the coolest thing ever? All right, so this is the Lono. We have two different ones. This is the Lono. We got this one for the baby to sit in because it's got these nice high walls. So she'll sit here with me. Kendall's gonna kind of sit and keep an eye on that with her. And then Cameron and Brandy are gonna take the, uh, what was this one called again? The Zeppelin, that's right, the Zeppelin. Two seater. They'll both paddle. This is this is everyone's except for me. Everyone's first time kayaking. All right, wish us luck. Uh, I'm gonna need it. Here we go. Hey, how's it going back there? Are you guys fighting with each other? <laughs> How are you doing down here, huh? You doing good? You having fun? We're drifting away. Uh-oh.
<laughs> hey, you guys won't even believe after all that running around this morning trying to get water shoes that I'm about to use right now on this super rocky beach. We went to the marina store earlier this morning to get something else and there was like a whole assortment of water shoes so we we're like are you kidding me right now Thank you. so that was all for nothing so if you come to the southernmost koa the store's got it. they have literally everything you would need here here ice water shoes if you forget things they got rv stuff they got a lot of stuff Boats, ice, beer, the whole nine yards. Cameron just lost her mask in the water. So now I have to go find it. Hi. Hey. You wanna go diving with me? I'm gonna get my mask so I can see. Is that fun? Yeah. But also kind of crazy. was first I was fighting the current and then it was deep it's like high tide here so it's probably 10 to 12 feet deep right there and then I was like okay no big deal I'll get the snorkel back in my mouth and I'll just cruise back nice and easy. Take some easy breaths. But I was getting water in. I think I just didn't have a good seal around my mouth, maybe. And I was just gulps of water. That happened to me once on the boat when the girls were like drifting off with the current. I had to swim and get them. And it was a situation like this where I couldn't catch my breath. And this is, these are the moments that like, you realize you gotta get in shape. Just make sure you can take care of those kids in the water or whatever the case is. All right, I'm good. What's up, yo? You having fun? No? Come on, let's go. Explore. See what kind of shark bait we can turn you into. Just kidding. Just kidding. Jump from the middle of that. Oh Whoa. yeah. Nice. It's real muddy. It feels disgusting, doesn't it? Okay? You alright? You did awesome. That was so rad. Nailed it. My nose you good? Really hurts. Oh, you're sick. You did good too. Who do you think went higher? I think we should look back at the footage and see who went higher. Yeah, we should. Who was it? I, I, I feel like. I don't know. I feel like it was me, but. 
Oh, my ear <laughs> Yeah. You know those times when you walk into a room and you're like, who made this mess? And the, all the kids are like, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. Like, well, then who did it? Well, now, Cameron and Kendall may actually have a thing going on here. Because Hannah, hey, what are you doing? You wrecking the girl's room? Hannah likes to come in here and just start pulling stuff down and just emptying drawers and containers and buckets and bins and getting stuff everywhere. So now, when the girls say they didn't do it, hey, maybe they didn't do it, I don't know. What are you doing? Busted. <laughs> All right, I need your help now. Today is July 3rd, right? Today's the 3rd? Tomorrow's 4th of July. I feel like it's a big deal to make sure that we eat the right thing for dinner on the 4th of July and that we don't ruin it tonight. So the options are steak or cheeseburgers. Both of them are like America, right? So what do you, you think burgers tonight? And do steaks on 4th of July? I feel like burgers is such a like fourth thing well, to do. Well, we need to make sure that for steaks we don't eat anything anytime close to dinner, so that we can enjoy the steak. Like I wouldn't enjoy a steak tonight because I'm not like. Because we're too rushed. You mean? Yeah, and we just had lunch like not long ago. You know. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Let me go get the girls' votes. Hey, what do you guys want for dinner? Steak or burgers? Steak. Steak. <sighs> now the votes are split. You guys said steaks. Hey, mommy, say burgers. I think we're gonna do steaks tomorrow night when we can take our time a little bit more. Huh? Just like you don't like pizza. Burgers. Burgers it is. But I'm gonna add bacon to them. So they'll be mwah. They'll be delicious. yesterday that sucks what's your name again Josh 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 I met him earlier he saw the sticker on the back of the camper I was checking out the YouTube channel now he's we're gonna open we got better coconut. open up this coconut but really we're just gonna drill a hole in it and then he's gonna let us know how it goes there you go right grab that guy out of there I learned this trick in Jamaica so what's the trick just go for it yeah this one. There you go. Oh, I feel like I'm through it. Yeah, oh yeah. Did I get milk? Did I need to do a vent hole yeah, maybe? Yeah, it probably wouldn't hurt. There's definitely some milk on it. There you go. There we go. Gonna go put that in the Bahama Mama. Yeah. I'm gonna drill my other one and bring it back. Okay, yeah, bring go for it. Back. Cool. So far this trip, the trip got off to a really good start. Even though we were traveling Day after day after day, uh, it was three days of driving, a couple of overnighters. That was actually smoother than I thought it was going to be. And then once we got to the Keys, it's been it's been a little chaotic, if I'm being honest. Um, I think everyone has sort of their own idea of what they want to do, and we've got all these things we want to try to do, and we're trying to squeeze things in. I think, hey Brandy, I think we should slow down with like everything we're trying to, you know what I mean? Like we're trying to do it all in the first few days we're here. And we have two weeks. So we'll get it all done. We'll get into a better rhythm. There's just a lot. Once we got here, there's just a lot we wanted to try to do. The kids want to go to the pool every five minutes. And we got like real stuff to do. The campground has been wonderful. This again is the, uh, what do they call it? The Sugarloaf Key Southernmost KOA in America. It's gorgeous. It was redone. It was wrecked in Hurricane Irma and they completely renovated the whole park and it looks gorgeous. The amenities are awesome. I will say though that the rocks on the ground in the campsites suck. They hurt your feet, they suck for the dog. The baby's trying to eat them nonstop. Not a fan of the rocks at all. A concrete pad would be, it would be way better. But this is what we got.
<laughs> Hannah! God, that is a mean baby, for real. Someone needs to teach that baby some manners. Jeez. What are you teaching that baby when you're watching her, huh? How do you feel like our trip's gone so far? From like the start, a couple days of travel to here. I mean, we're all still alive, so there's that. <laughs> it's been a little stressful, I have to say. Um, it's just been, yeah. I think once we get acclimated and used to like all living in the camper and stuff, it'll be better. Like, there's like a handicap elevator here. We got to take the stroller. So we got to take the elevator, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> Come on. I mean, she is thick. Going down. All right. Meet you at the top. I'll Aww. meet you at the top. <laughs> she said elevator goes down. Be just come Elevator go up. <laughs> All right. What do you think, Hannah? Oh, yeah. We came to get the laundry. We were doing some laundry today, too. The laundry mat, the laundromat, whatever this place, this room is called, it has a the laundry room. The laundry room, yes, thank you. <laughs> it has a uh, a smell to it. I don't know. It smells like laundry. Is that what it is? No. That is definitely what it is. Okay. It smells familiar, it like, smells a, like clean laundry. Like... Anyways. Is that funny? Is that funny? How's the trip going for you? <laughs> Is that funny? Yeah? Are you having a good time? Oh. Okay, alright. Alright. Hey, you want to ride the elevator down? It's fun. You got some stuff all over you. You know what? I'll get some exercise and take the stairs. Now it's hanging from my head. Seven hundred fifty pounds. Do you think, or can I Do you think we're gonna exceed seven hundred fifty pounds? Listen, I know I got a dad bod, but like, come on, we're all together with the maybe two fifty. Okay, so should I get in? Hannah, what did you do? She, hey, you're gonna you're gonna get us in trouble. It was your phone. She threw your phone. Mean. I said that I was shocked that the first few days felt more like smoother than I anticipated with the back-to-back -back travel days. It was actually not nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And Hans was awesome. But now that we're here, I feel like it's a little bit more chaotic, and it's when I thought things were gonna like calm down and chill more. Probably because it's a hundred freaking five degrees every day. That's probably the best. It is brutal here. All right, do you I think I want to fly the drone. Can I take the drone on our walk and fly it? Mm -hmm. 